The stew was terrible. That wasn't stew. That was sealant for Gold's operation. Huh? Well, that's what it tasted like, too. There's just some residue left in there. Really? What happened to the sealant I mixed in there? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. I've eaten worse. The pot is still hot. Maybe hot enough to light the candle. I mean, melt. I'm going down there now. Maybe there's a back door. You know, yeah, but as I... Uh, no, that's not true. Now stop this underwater claptrap and just lower me down, okay? All right. It's your neck. I have a plan. Are you sure the word plan means what you think it does? From what I've seen, it could just as well mean hangover, epileptic fit, or pebble in your shoe. Just trust me, the dolphins absolutely want a target. Presenting <laughs> Ray Coulson, the, in the broadest sense of the term, human target. I take back everything I ever said about you, because you scare me. still closed. I'm working on it. What? Usually you're so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty cool. Yep, that's the perfect subject for a wax impression. Or a larger-than-life statue at the entrance to the harbor. Time for my stunt double, Ray Coulson! Now there's no room for me. Huh, nothing. Why? That's a fishing pole for people in a hurry. Close. It's a diving crane. Oh yeah? Then why did I catch a baby orca with it a little while ago? Because you're an incurable troublemaker. Then stop trying to cure me all the time. Dang it! Closed. Too closed for my taste. I'll find another way. Hey, Bozo! Hey, Rufus. What's up? Sure. Do you think they're taking the bait? It's worth a try. Those critters really appear to hate you. Yes, but why? It might have something to do with the fact that you transformed their children into canned fish. But that's not true. Oh, I see. You merely helped them jump into the kitchen, where all of a sudden a few cans of tuna appeared, right? Perhaps Yanosh's mom had to make a little room on her shelf for the aquarium. For the aquarium. Exactly, because I would never... Whoa! No matter what you did, 
They are really pissed off. Are you ready for another dive? All right. It's your neck. For the submerge was brought to a halt. They stopped Donna Gold Spins with torpedo dolphins. And finally, Hoaglins, I cannot exalt how extendingly aced he was dragged to the base. The valve for the last round was about to chime. The showdown was imminent. And if not, I apprehend the chorus guys will have to work over time. Rufus, just where have you been? I was forced to submerge for a while. You picked a great time for that. While you were out snorkeling, we were kidnapped by Donna Gold in a surprise attack. I can't leave you alone, not even for a moment. She took Gold with her, as well as the remotes and the cartridges. Nonsense. I've got them right here. Uh, oh crap. There must be a hole in my coat. I keep losing stuff. This time you lost more than usual. Cletus was here. He took both goals with him. They're planning to travel to Porto Fisco in Argus's cruiser. Argus is here too? Well, his cruiser is moored alongside that blast tower over there. Criminy! The blast tower! The rebel attack has already started! But that's suicide! You're right. They're completely lost without me. Oh, Rufus, you really don't know when it's time to give up. Of course I know that. And it starts with N, right? What's the situation, Doc? Still hopeless. Fantastic. At least then none of them can escape me. Can you tell what's going on over there? I think... The rebels have started to storm the tower. Now I see it too. The tower is already shaking a lot. And I see a swarm of trained fireflies. Um, Rufus, why don't you sit down for a moment? You've been on your feet for a long time. No worries, Doc. I feel becky mecky sucky sucky decky. What are those strange cabins over there? Looks like Organon technology. Probably decommissioned goods transporters from the blast tower. Goods transporters from the blast tower? I hope you aren't thinking about using them. That would be utter madness. One little mistake, and you'll wind up as a cloud of molecules. At best, your genes will end up mixed with the vermin that have nested in there. Cool. Listen to me just this once. Using them would be the absolutely stupidest thing you could do. Exactly. Nobody would be expecting it. Unless they know you. Are you familiar with these matter transporters? I hope you aren't thinking about using them. Why? That would be utter madness. One little mistake and you'll wind up as a cloud of molecules. At best, your gene... So, nothing that can't be reversed. Who said that? A genetic fusion of that sort is an extremely complex matter. Once two species have crossed their genes, then... Where's Bozo? Down in the cockpit. He's trying to restart the generator. But the current collectors are empty. We'll probably be stuck here for a couple of hours yet. That's too long. You could help him by holding the lamp. It's too narrow down there for me. Hmm. I don't know. Rufus! Rufus! 
force heroically he held the lamp. It, uh, no, that won't work. I'll find another way. And have you gotten any further? It would go faster if you helped. Oh, I can't right now. I'm very close to finding my own way. You don't think much of teamwork, do you? Sure, sure. One for all and uh, uh, whatever you're doing there. I'm going to try something. I would say don't do anything rash. But since you're not listening to me even now, I'll just say I hate you. I hate you from the bottom of my soul. Thanks, Doc. Good luck to you, too. Genetic fusion is irreversible. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> well, how are things at the front? Wolfush! At last! Grab a weapon and help us! We are hopelessly outnumbered! Uh, no. If I get involved, I'll just expose your incompetence. But you can do it. And I'm not saying that because there is any hope, but to motivate you. That's what you call leadership. At last, I was on the verge of leaving without you. You know what they say about the Organon. That they resulted from an early attempt to cross human DNA with soya flour? That we always stick to our schedules. Ah, you have your mother's sense of humor. We would have been here sooner if half the tower weren't cordoned off due to fighting. Do you often have armed riffraff hanging out in your facilities? This ridiculous peasant uprising should be of no concern to you. Still, it seems odd that the Deponians are revolting at this very moment. Do you know anything about it? It's Rufus. He's trying to stop me. Rufus? Persistent little fellow. He's an idiot. You underestimate him. That's it, baby. 
You tell him. He's only half as stupid as he looks. Double that, and you might have a point. He just doesn't know when the time has come for him to quit. Speaking of time, are you ready now? Just a moment. I left my bag inside. Get on with it. We will cast off as soon as the engines are warm, with your bag or without. He's still totally into me, in secret. Argus will set out any moment now. I don't have much time left. Cletus! Here! Huh? Cletus? What's he doing? Bomb controls, la la la. Could he be fiddling with the bomb controls? I'm fiddling with the bomb controls, la la la. No, that can't be what it looks like. This is just what it looks like. I'm really messing with the boo, with the bee, with the bar, with the bow, with the bomb controls. That, that, ooh. That a boo, that a bee, that a bar, that a bow. Rufus got the groove, yeah. <laughs> but wait, that traitor! He's actually fiddling with the bomb controls. I've got to stop him. That traitor! He's actually fiddling with the bomb controls. I've got to stop him. Cletus just left her lying there. Goal? Donna, anybody? Huh, apparently nobody's home. No wonder. The implant is empty. Goal? Donna, anybody? Huh, apparently nobody's home. No wonder. The implant is empty. Hey, there's Donna's remote and the two other cartridges. I'll insert one of them. Hmm, unfortunately, Goal's remote is missing. She must still have it on her. Hmm, unfortunately, she must still have it hmm. on Oh, hey! Shh, not so loud. Hey! We've got a problem, or, or rather two. And a half. We'll make that three. It's been a while since I counted. What's the matter? You see Cletus back there. He's rather blurry. Something isn't right with my eyes. Oops. Oh, look, Rufus. I'm Donna. I know. Feed him to the shot. <laughs> Very nice. Now, can we briefly consider the problem at hand? Sure. Bring it on. Cletus is about to return to Elysium with Lady Goal. And, just now, I caught him messing with the bomb controls. I think he wants to eliminate the population of Deponia. Then, there would be no more reason not to blow the place up. Oh, big time meanie. This is hard to believe. We have to tell Lady Goal about this. She might be a little hard to convince. Actions are better than thoughts. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. And therefore, Cletus is the good guy and Rufus is nothing but a... Uh... Hey, ladies! Rufus, what are you doing here? You missed me, I know. But now's not the time for our big reunification foo-for-ah. Our what? Has Baby Goal explained everything to you? I was going to... But it looks like I got some of it wrong. Lady Gold just explained to me why you cannot be trusted. What? But you were supposed to persuade Lady Gold, not the other way around. Oh, right. 
That was your plan? I was almost going to say you need to think of something better, but you might take that as encouragement. Well, I do. Please don't fight. Don't worry, baby. Lady Goal is about to see her mistake. Yes, I do see my mistake. The mistake is you. And even Baby Goal isn't quite as naive as you seem to believe. Right. But, hey, look, did I just see a funny butterfly in there? A butterfly? Whee! You really stop at nothing, don't you? Well, I'm doing it my way. Your path just leads you from one disaster to the next. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Goal, but it is not mine. Now listen to me, will you? Why should I? You're not listening to me either. I'm going with Cletus. You should be glad I'm not setting the organ on you. You have exactly three seconds to get out of here. That is my parting gift to you. But goal! One. I... Two. Cletus is only taking advantage of you, and when you look down on my burning cadaver, you're really going to regret some of the things you just said. There. So there. <laughs> and now? Hey, baby Donna Goal. Do you think you could talk to Lady Goal again? Sure. She wanted to tell me a couple of very interesting things about you. Yeah, ah, uh, that, that, uh, there's no need for that. Clear as club soda. Whatever that is. Oh, I'm really getting tired of this stupid implant. Are you okay? More or less. Can I have a summary? Okay. We're in Argus's bomb control tower. I think that Cletus intends to trigger the detonation. Why, that's slimy! And where is Donegal? Actually, you are now Donegal. Ew! Yeah, Lady Goal has got your body, and she's on the balcony outside. She still thinks that everything's fine with Cletus. Perhaps you could talk to her. Maybe she'll listen to herself. I most certainly will. Luckily, I know how to talk to recalcitrant women. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. Don't you even notice how little sense you're making? But I damn well saw it! Refrain from cursing, please. I hate it when you do that. You're hardly going to change my mind by using expletives on me. So what about using my fists on you? Ha! <laughs> how typical. Whenever you run out of arguments, you will to violence. Also known as dyslexia of the soul. Let me show you how I spell knuckle sandwich. Mm. Perhaps with an S, as in stepladder. Ladies, ladies! There are peaceful ways of settling your differences, like uh, a round of mud wrestling or something. Ah! Rufus! I might have known you were behind this. You really stop at nothing, don't you? Well, I'm doing it. Your path just leads you from one. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Goal, but it is not mine. It's okay, Rufus. No need for you to help me out. This is just between me and me. You take care of Cletus. He's a bigger problem now. Oh, right. Almost forgot about him. So, where was I? In a manure pit, judging by the smell. What? I'll get you for that! Whoa. I suppose they really should discuss that among themselves. How can you carry on such extended conversations with yourself? I find that a bit disturbing. This... Disturbing. But back to more pressing issues. I must stop Cletus before he... Huh? Cletus? But... Huh? Where did he go? Well then, let's undo the mess that Creepus caused here. That shouldn't be too complicated. After all, he managed to do it. What? Well, what is this now? A countdown? No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop! That was a close one. But if that was the countdown, then what was Cletus doing here? Something fishy's going on here. Hey! Cletus, what are you doing? Open up, you coward! Why should I? So that you can go ahead and mess up my plans again, loser! Well, it looks like I already did. At least you didn't manage to trigger the bomb. So, who's the loser now, huh? You, of course, as always. You see, I never meant to trigger the bomb. But 
I saw you fiddling with... I was trying to sabotage the explosion for crying out loud. Ulysses' plan was sheer lunacy. I blocked the suspension clamps. The Organon are not going to detonate the bomb with it like that. There would be little damage to the planet. It would only destroy the bomb tower. And by the time they find the fault, the Council of Elders will be aware of the existence of the Deponians. You should thank me. I saved your people. And you too, alas, for now. Don't make me laugh. The Deponians mean nothing to you, or to you, but at least I'm not afraid of admitting that. All I care about is gold. For some reason, she is hell-bent on giving Deponia a fair chance of survival. And you know me, I would gladly sacrifice the world just to make a lady smile. The elders will probably blow the place up anyway. I actually even hope so. But by then, it will no longer be my responsibility. And... Let's be honest. You wouldn't have done more than that for your people, would you? So why would you make me a worse match for goal? And given that, what could possibly prevent me from taking her to Elysium? Hmm? Go ahead and stop me. How disappointing. Open up, you coward. Why should I? Out of a misguided sense of superiority. Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. We aren't that much alike. I really am superior, you see. <laughs> that shut you up all right, huh? Hey, you moron. What are you doing? I'm switching the How countdown back on. It? It's a little shorter this time. Are you out of your mind? Shut that off this instant. Happy to oblige. Is this the switch? Oopsie! No I can be such a cunning slams today. I wish there was somebody in here who knows his way around this stuff. Too bad you <laughs> already <laughs> That shut leave. you up. Or you rotten chunk of sewer slime! How dis- What have you done this time? Let me see. Perhaps I can bypass the controls. You had better pray that this works. <laughs> that shut you up all right, huh? No cunning plans today. That traitor! How disappointing. That traitor! No cunning plans today. <laughs> what are you doing? Ow! <laughs> 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 Go ahead. That wouldn't be a good idea right now. Baby Donegal doesn't stand a chance against Lady Go. His breath smells like Tony's mother. Funky Go! What? Lynch!
Joel! <laughs> Got it! Mistake! <laughs> Nice try, dirt ball. One could almost admire your persistence. I suppose I should kill you now, but I'm beginning to feel sorry for you. Who knows how I would behave if I'd been born in a landfill without any hope for a better life. Without any hope. I would love to do you a favor and put an end to your useless existence. You would never give up on your own. Just a little well-aimed kick. Too bad that isn't possible, because you've got something that belongs to me. Couldn't we discuss that after you help me up? That's Donna in Gold's body! She must be totally confused. Well, even totallyer. Come on, help me up! You are in no position for negotiations. Give me the remote. And maybe I'll listen to you. I'm not letting go of this anytime soon. It's the only Trump I. For the last time, will you give me that accursed remote? I know! You need the Ascension Codes, don't you? What are you getting at, smart ass? You know exactly what I want. This isn't about Gaul, is it? Quit wasting my time, you freak! Hand me that remote this instant, or we're all going to be blown to kingdom come! The bomb is ticking! Oopsie-daisy! No! You crack-brained numbnut! <laughs> Gaul! Oh, that was just... Wow! Well done! Yes, looks like it. I just didn't want to believe it. But you were obviously right about him all along. Why did he do that? Eh, doesn't matter now. Help me up. Yes, yes, of course. But first, I need to apologize. I have wronged you. I just thought that... I thought you were lying to me. I should have trusted you from the very beginning, not him. Triggering the bomb sequence behind my back. Unbelievable. I could never be with such a liar. And still, that's what's happened. No, Cletus is the liar, right? Um, well... What is that supposed to mean? Is there something else you want to tell me? There is one thing. What? Well, I must know everything. I know the timing could be better, but I can only trust you again if you tell me everything, and I want to trust you. Cletus didn't lie to you. What are you saying? He didn't start that sequence. I did. You? Does that mean Cletus hasn't betrayed me after all? I knocked him down for no good reason. In a way, yes. But I'm telling the truth, so that shows I'm the good guy here, right? No, it only shows that the best possible Rufus is still worse than Cletus. Goal! Goal! Don't leave me hanging! I told you everything, didn't I? Goal! Well, Rufus, once again you managed to turn the tide against yourself at the last moment. <laughs> As I said before, you don't even want to win. At least not by cheating, right? You played pretty well so far. But eventually, the cards must always be laid on the table. I've got two queens. And you? Are we playing rummy now? Shh! <laughs> Looks like you screwed up once again, Rufus. Or do you have a trump left up your sleeve that I'm not aware of? Janosch and his resistance fighters will be up here any moment! Those miserable creatures don't make me laugh. I seriously doubt that any of them are still alive. Whoever concocted this attack must be completely retarded. The whole action is so stupid. I can hardly imagine you didn't have something to do with it. Hey, uh, okay, change the subject. 
Goal won't let that happen. Tell him, Goal. I'm sorry, Rufus. Me too. It must have been very difficult for you to show me your true face. He did that? I see now who you are. Very brave. But it isn't enough. Unfortunately. You've disappointed me once too often. You heard the girls. Game over. <laughs> You think this is a game? This is about an entire planet full of innocent people. Oh, that's enough of your pseudo-moral nonsense. For you, this was never about the people. This was about you getting the girl. So, my friend, what is the difference between you and me? Maybe the fact that I'm not an arrogant snot? Precisely. You are the filthy underdog. The outsider from the underclasses. But only as long as you always lose. You can't win without becoming exactly like me. No more than you can live on Elysium without destroying Deponia. There is no scenario in which you win. This isn't the end, you know. Oh, I see. You're hoping for a third act. The hero dashes onto the runway, knocks on the window of the high boat. There's only one catch, Rufus. You are not a hero. You are a tragic comic clown. And this is not a romantic comedy. This is some sort of self-reflective independent crap in which there are no answers at the end. No happy ending. Only a good look at an ugly reflection which then blabs the subtext as well. Chaos cannot win when the goal is order. <laughs> Something like that. I've still got the other remote! You're still missing a queen for your full goal! Oh, never mind that one. You can keep her. The game is over. And the jackpot is enough for me. Two amazing, gorgeous women. One on the left, one on the right, and me in the middle. <laughs> her purest and noblest qualities finally reunited. More than enough goal for a modest man like me. All you have is a stupid cartridge with nothing but goals, mental and childhood troubles. That one is rude, defiant, argumentative, forever spreading chaos. Just like Rufus. Exactly. Completely useless. Uh, you do realize you're talking about me, right? What? <laughs> At least I'm honest. You like that about me, don't you? Yes. Y yes, you're right, of course. But it's a piece of yourself, Goal. Without it, you'll never be complete. So what? We don't give a hoot. I have the better goals and the ascension codes. We should finally crank up the countdown now. It's not like I can switch it off at this point. Thank you, Rufus. But at least the explosion will be limited to the tower itself. Say, thank you, Cletus. Because I'm a gentleman, I shall give you and your rebel buddies enough time to make a hasty retreat. That's what you do best, after all. Farewell, Rufus. You weren't really a worthy opponent, but that probably would have been asking too much. No! You can't do that! Cletus! Goal belongs together! Wait! I... Oh, oh. This is getting a bit exhausting! It's... Uh... Great... They've stopped shooting. Oh, at last. Do you think we won? Actually, I'm not sure. Ah! <laughs> Ouch. Rufus, listen up, everybody. It's Rufus. Yeehaw. Uh, oh. Janos? You guys are alive? Of course we are alive. What did you think? We need to get out of here as fast as possible. The tower is about to explode. Then let us gather everyone together as fast as we can. Don't forget me. Goal! Not her again. Goal! You? But wh why aren't you with Cletus? Well, the prospect of going home was really tempting, but I would have missed an important part of myself. A and Cletus? I locked him out on the gangway. Spunky Girl would surely have found a more dramatic solution. But I found myself cool enough, and Cletus blew a fuse. However, in the light of the impending explosion, he must have decided that one goal was enough for him. Speaking of which, we mustn't waste any time. But what about you? I mean, what about your third part? 
Aren't you gonna miss Baby Goal as well? Hmm, you know, I happened to find this on my way down here. She is definitely going to change her mind. Just trust me. Ambassador, it is time. The tower has been evacuated. We must leave at once. All right. All right. By the way, Gore, I knew you'd come back. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I can leave again, you know. But you won't. August plan went awry, and I know the story. You have to admit you enjoyed it a bit. Now you saw a reason, dumped your egotism, and weighed against the public benefit. Because close to the bonus, where you need cojones And platypuses and memberships to opposing underground organizations So do unpack the bag, now it's anyway way too late to sack me And secondly, where am I gonna stay? Huzzah, let's hope far away